Pants anzieht. That's a problem. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Awakening Bishela here. Today guys, I want to talk about an important subject, finances and how to save in university. Now, I cannot cover finances or talking about money in one video because let's be honest, there's just so much that goes into money, like just so much, you know, and happen, we need to, you know, be sensitive because money is such a sensitive topic. I mean. Money makes people kill each other. I mean, money is one of the reasons why people divorce. So we need to be very sensitive. That's why we need to keep in mind that in university, everyone has different size pockets, meaning someone might be getting an allowance of 10,000 a month. Believe me, they do. And someone might be getting 1,000 a month. So like, it's like a, a huge spectrum. Money is just huge, you know? So that's why we need to, you know, be sensitive, you know? But mostly know how to save money in university. Come on. So guys, I've got some tips for you and I just really want to dive into it. Budget. I cannot stress the importance of budgeting. I just can't. Budgeting is important guys like budget is like a detailed plan of what you're gonna do with your money Budgeting helps you to know to, to, to think for the future because you're already when you budget you have in mind Okay, hundred rand for electricity. Okay 400 rand or something, you know, and then you know, okay I've got X amount of money left for you know for fun for saving, you know, so budgeting is important. I encourage everyone to budget guys because you need to budget come on what are you doing you need to budget you can't just blow your money no budget do not live above your means guys in varsity people have this tendency of feeling you need to live a specific way guys if your budget or your pocket does not allow you to live a specific way then don't live a specific way. Listen to me say, I've been in university for three years, guys. Three years. And I've seen things. We see things and we hear things, guys. People literally go days without eating. All they eat is noodles, noodles. Now, there's no problem with noodles, but you can't live on noodles. You can't live on noodles. You just can't live on noodles. So, you shouldn't, you shouldn't pressure yourself to live a particular lifestyle. No putting all the time, looking a particular way, hair on fleek, clothes, way now, you know, bags and whatnot. Guys, literally, no one cares in university. No one cares what you look like, no one cares what you came to school dressed in, no one cares what your head looks like. Literally, no one cares, <laughs> no one gives a damn what you look like in university. Everyone is there for themselves, everyone is there to pass and leave because no one cares no one cares so when you push pressure on yourself to live a particular way and go with the pain but your budget is like here your money your pocket is here hey you're gonna suffer and problem is you're gonna suffer alone because you are the one who pressurized yourself to live that particular lifestyle be in mind that no one cares no one No one cares. So please, guys, save your money and do not do things that are unnecessary like hair, nails, clothes, this, that, that. Save your money, guys. It isn't worth it. It's here for a short period of time and then phew, everyone, even if it's posting for the gram or for whatever, guys, literally people like and they move on. Tomorrow, it's someone else. It's someone new. No one cares. No one cares. Point number three, guys. These are your best friends. Guys, I cannot stress the importance. Oh, is it? I cannot tell you how much I've saved being a student with these cards. These cards are a life changer. These cards are, are the big thing. You know what I'm saying? You're going to save money with these cards. I'm telling you. You get points when you swipe these cards. These points then accumulate and then one day you'll find that 
you accumulated maybe 50 points and then when you buy they'll say okay do you want to use the points and then you say yes and it's gonna be discounts meaning maybe you bought something it's 100 rand minus those 50 points and now you only pay 70 rand these cards help do yourself a favor and get these cards these cards are also free students love free stuff these cards are free guys i promise you just go to the shop i'm sure some of you even have them but try to get all shops these cards these cards are the game change i'm telling you i've saved so much money with these cards guys get them they free buy in box guys if you can buy 10 kg guys i don't think a thing but if you can then buy believe me when i say for the whole entire year you literally have 10 kg and that is going to sustain you throughout the whole entire year so if you can guys buy in box i know that game for example has got the 100 rand deals meaning you can get stuff for 100 rand i remember we got conflicts for like two big conflicts you see those big ones yeah for 100 rand guys buying in box helps so 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 much don't buy things in singles because they're not gonna sustain it's only gonna be here for one month and then next month you have to buy it again buy in box buy in box <laughs> catalogs are your best friends remember when we were young and then our mothers used to have like these catalogs and be like Yo, buy back at the got 50 rand yeah honey that's about to become you <laughs> about to become you because catalogs are gonna be your best friends they're gonna be your magazines they're gonna be something that you look at and go wow complex at 50 or something like that read the catalogs guys they help you know some of these things that we might we might think that they're not necessary they very necessary guys they very necessary because they help us save the coin and we want to save the coin why because we don't want to be the Brooks student come on guys. <laughs> so guys catalogs are your friends get catalogs when you're about to enter a shop i know every shop has like a catalog stand there get catalogs guys and look okay what deals are they today where can i save today with these cards also they'll tell you the catalogs will tell you if you swipe you get 50 rands off or something you know so catalogs are like information centers they help you navigate your way in the shop get catalogs get them. compare prices and compare shops most definitely compare shops guys if i found out that pig and pay meters 100 rand and then shop right the same meats that i wanted to buy is 20 rands cheaper of course i'm gonna save the 20 rand and buy at shop right so definitely compare prices guys if you can get stuff at home get stuff from home i know from university there was this girl that i knew every single time we'd wash our clothes she had this big you know oros ne? yeah in her oros jar it will stay soft it was pink ne? so i'm like kidding like do you guys share it in, in like in your unit or something she's like no i just got this from home i'm not gonna buy stay soft knowing that at home eating and there's a lot of it guys do it i'm not gonna lie. i also take things from home <laughs> i also take things from home like there's no shame in it you are saving money if you can save money because what's available will be type away while you not while guys do it if you can get sugar here at home do it you are saving money there is no shame boy in varsity guys never ever ever get that thought in mind oh, okay what are people gonna say oh, what's the game i'm poor at home in it. guys people don't care <laughs> nobody cares nobody cares get it out of your system that yo i might seem poor yo i might in -y -y. nobody cares nobody cares nobody cares do you do what makes you feel good about you and do what can make you save money and getting things from home definitely definitely saves the coin <laughs> so get things from home if you can get things from home because that's what i also do i mean if i can save money hello <laughs> if you and your roommate slash unit mates 
can buy um rosary all together like contribute money to each other then do it this is what i did first year ne? first uh yeah beginning of the year i came with my own rosary okay remember i lived in a house ne? so then the girls that i lived with they all bought um groceries together i'm like hey okay why not so we would all contribute 400 rands to buying grocery and that saved money that saved money guys it saved money also it also saved with electricity because we would all cook collectively if someone is cooking i mean we're all gonna eat because we all contributed to the grocery so it won't be a thing of oh i'm cooking now Lerato is gonna cook now. My man's one man is gonna cook also. It saves electricity. So if you can, if you can, because I know some roommates, you know, situation, but if you can contribute with your roommate. And my roommate and I last year we used to have this thing like if I'm cooking, then I'll ask her, Did you eat? Here's a plate, you know, because I'd always have like food extra like that's me like when i cook i just cook a lot and then put it in the fridge because i'm not about to cook every day like i only cooked once or twice the week and put it in the fridge and just ate it but anyway we would also do that like so if you can see ask if you and your roommates could have a situation about you guys contribute money and you guys go shop it saves money that's one thing i can tell you it saves money DIY guys if you can do your own hair if you can do your own nails if you can do your own makeup honey do it DIY do not get someone to do something that you can also do no don't do that don't do that for example this weave well I bought it in bundles ne? and then I made a weave by myself believe me it's not the greatest but hey it's doable I made this wig guys i made this with myself and if you can learn skills guys youtube ne? go youtube has everything guys you can learn it all on youtube you can learn how to braid yourself you can learn how to do stuff you know what i'm saying so if you can do it yourself guys most definitely do it yourself for example nails i know nails are important things for girls in university if you can do it yourself do it yourself if your friends can do it afterwards to do it if i know for a fact that my roommate can braid hair i mean rooms are come on always again <laughs> experiment with my hair you know experiment because i know saloons are expensive the single ticket 300 okay i'm not gonna pay 300 for someone to braid my hair that's a I'm stingy guys give it up when it comes to money I'm very stingy when it comes to money I'm like okay okay that is me when it comes to money like that is me so I'm not gonna pay 300 for someone to break my hair how oh, why kids in my roommate can like break my hair for 100 rands so if your roommates can do it and trust me if you live in student accommodation I guarantee you guarantee there are students who can do hair there are students who can do nails at a cheaper 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 price than most salons out there so definitely do your research definitely ask around ask people who can do my hair and 100 rand 150 it's cheap it's cheap even if it's not the best 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 nobody cares get a job there are a lot of student jobs out there however with getting a job you have to find a job that is compatible with your student schedule because you're still a student you still got classes to go to you still have tests and exams and uh, 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 to go through so getting a job might be tricky however there are jobs on campus guys if you do your research i promise you there are a lot a lot of opportunities out there guys if only you just asked, if only you just researched, you would see that, damn, money has been in front of me all this time. I'm telling you, there are a lot of jobs in, on campus. For example, you could work at the library, the computer center, the cafeteria, 
you know and i know about like with my campus you can be a, a lab um lab assistant you can be a tutor you can be a mentor however certain jobs require your academics to be up to standard because you can't be a tutor Yo, marks daily fat, but you're supposed to be tutoring people. Nah, so certain jobs, guys, you ha your marks have to be up to standard. But you can get a job on campus if only you research. You know, if only you ask, you can get money. And some of these jobs are actually actually compatible with the students because they know, okay, we hire new students. We know that, okay, you today you're coming in, you tomorrow you're not coming in because you got a test. Guys, ask. And you shall receive yes guys those are my tips on how to save money as a student of course there are a lot of tips out there if maybe i missed one or two most definitely down in the description the guy description box down in the comment section guys you can definitely feel free to know share your tips on how to save money in university <laughs> also guys thank you so 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 much for 85 subscribers <laughs> I'm close to my goal of hitting 100 and thank you guys so much for the love and support and sharing because you guys are I I don't even know what to say you know I don't even want to say but shout out to you guys you guys are doing the most for me and I truly 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 appreciate it very much yeah don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't joined the amazing journey of oh again Bishello <laughs> don't worry guys soon we'll have our own uh, TV channel and I'll be on DSTV channel mm, uh, mm, mm, mm. <coughs> manifestation you know what I mean but yes guys hit the subscribe button if you haven't like comment and share share the good news sharing is caring come on <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video